Hello and welcome to the video. This is one video in a whole little series of tips and tricks for Express LRS. Now I've done a couple of videos on Express LRS already. I'll put a link down below. This one is really the first in this little series that's going to show you a neat trick. Now this just happens to be an Express LRS receiver. This is the BTREF PV uh, PWM receiver, but there is some really cool stuff. And what is starting to happen is more of the configuration options are moving into a web page that you can access onto the receiver in order to set things up. Now here on the computer, this is the latest one as I'm recording this, uh, version 1.3.11 of the configurator. You can see here that on the target, there's loads of different ways that you can change and check everything. You can decide, you know, tell it what kind of make and model of receiver, whether you're gonna flash by UART, or you can flash by Wi-Fi. Now I haven't done a lot by a Wi-Fi here, just because I tend to use the UART method or it's, um, you know, kind of directly connected via something else. So the Wi-Fi stuff is something that I've stayed away from. And I think lots of ELRS or Express LRS pilots are kind of in the same camp in that you've never really played with this stuff. So let me show you what I'm talking about because it might be something that you weren't even aware could happen. So first of all, let me power the receiver up. Now, there is this little list here of what the flashing LEDs actually mean. So if you've been confused ever about what the LED is supposed to be telling you, this is it. Once it starts to flash and times out, it will flash like this. And that means it's created a Wi-Fi hotspot. If we go onto the computer now and have a look, we can see that we now have a new access point and we can connect to it. Now, this would then allow us to potentially do things like flashing over Wi-Fi and stuff, but watch what happens when the connection is made to the receiver. I get a browser starting up, and that browser will jump to a page that's actually coming from the receiver itself. So this is the receiver we're looking at here. We can see the version of firmware, we can see uh, the options to actually do firmware updates from here. But importantly, we also have the options to set things up. Now, this is the kind of stuff I'm going to do individual videos on. So, for example, there's the ability to do model match. That is kind of like the stuff that you're probably familiar with, with OpenTX and EdgeTX. There's an additional kind of uh, model match settings that you can turn on in model match and that can sometimes catch people out. Uh, so we'll do a video on that. But for this PWM receiver, look at this. Here is the PWM output. Now, this isn't stuff that's currently available in the Lua script that's on the radio. And this is why I want to show you this because I think talking to the developers of Express LRS, more and more of the cool stuff is gonna be in this web page that you access by creating the Wi-Fi hotspot on your receiver. So for here, for example, you can actually decide which channel is going to be output, whether or not it's going to be inverted, so you can reverse the channel outputs, and you can also set the fail-safe position as well, which is incredibly handy. So this is AETR, standard order, and channel 5 auxiliary 1 is currently output at 1500, but if you really wanted to, I could make it any of the other ones as well. Just wanted to let you know that this kind of stuff was around here because I don't think many of us have really played with this and looking at how the development, more and more of the really cool stuff that receivers can do, particularly in the land of PWM, so changing things like the frequency output of the PWM signal and all that goodness is going to be in the web page. Now, in order to access the web page and create the Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do it like I've done it here, where there's a timeout. Uh, historically, the timeout in older versions of Express LRS was 20 seconds. So you plug it in. If you didn't turn on your radio, after 20 seconds, it would do this and create the Wi-Fi hotspot and away you went. In latest versions of Express LRS, that timeout has been increased to 60 seconds for those pilots who turn their receiver on first before the radio. I would never recommend doing that, by the way, but it has been increased. So you might need to wait a minute before the Wi-Fi access stuff is defaulted to. 
However, if the receiver is already connected to your radio, you can go into the Express LRS Lua script that you've got on there already, go down and you can turn on Wi-Fi mode and that will force this to happen. So there's a number of ways to get Wi-Fi working. Once it is, go onto your computer, connect to that new access point, which will look something like this, and then you have access to lots of additional settings on your receiver that you might not have ever even seen before. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.